What's up guys, this is Senador from the TheAndroidInvasion.com and today we're going to take a look at an ice cream sandwich launcher alternative for your ICS powered devices. Now this is what a TouchWiz version of ice cream sandwich looks like. Uh, home screens run a little decently smooth, however the app drawer is infinite scrolled and it's disconnected from the widgets. I don't like that. So we are going to take a look at a vanilla option for a home launcher if you are interested. This is Nova Launcher. What I like about Nova Launcher is that it gives you a pretty vanilla feel for launchers. Now, I have this in the phone version. I don't like having it in tablet wise. Reminds this one reminds me more of a Nexus 7. So you see there, folders work perfectly. You know, everything is fine. There's there's those scrollable widgets. You have the persistent Google search. You have the persistent voice action search, which is always on the top of the home screen if you're on portrait or side if you're on landscape. As you see here, the app chart is very vanilla-esque, which is an apps are connected. And unlike other launchers, because this uses root, um, you are allowed to access your widgets from the app drawer, which I personally enjoy. Another nice feature about this is once you've added the widgets to your home screen, you're able to resize them. So let's left flip board load for just a second. And you hold it and you can resize it. Resizing is very fluid. However, it does change depending if you're putting this on portrait mode or landscape. And in the same rate, you can also remove widgets again by holding it down or swiping it to the top left of your home screen. Like I said before, scrollable widgets do work. However, I've resized these to work better in portrait mode. So let's just resize them now and put them so they look nicer in landscape. Just to give it a minute. And there you go. You see the scrolling still works, which is very nice about this uh, launcher. Let's go back to our main page. Okay. Uh, to access Nova settings, off oh, wait. Yeah. Like I said before, yeah, portrait mode. And then we're gonna go back. Okay. Now to access your settings, you're gonna hold down on the screen. The first one we're gonna look at is Nova Actions. Nova Actions allows you to add different sets of toggles in forms of widgets. So let's add the recent apps button and moves around like an app or a widget and as you press it your recent app opens up. It's nice to have that if you don't have a recent app button like let's say you're using a device that does not have the um, the recent app on it you are able to add that to your home screen if you so desire. You access your settings by tapping the top right of the uh, icon and you see here you have a myriad of different settings you can use. You can change your desktop grid, change the amount of, uh, of apps or icons that show up. You can even change your search bar style. I have it as the jelly bean style. And you can even move around the home screens and customize them or remove them if you so wish. Let's go back to the settings. Okay. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, uh, scrolling too. If you want to change any of the animations, you can do that as well. I just prefer to have them as none. I don't like to have a. Uh, the uh, transitions so and yeah you can lock your desktop if you don't want anyone to delete anything by accident so we'll go over to drawer you'll see you can change again your scroll effects in the drawer but you also have a paid version which is uh, features only in prime the prime version you will have to pay for in the play store I'm not exactly sure how much it costs but unfortunately these extra features are not in the free version you will have to pay for them or get an unlock code from the developer um, they're not necessary, you don't need them, but it's nice to have some of them. Some of them I find might be useful. You'll see more of that later on when we get to gestures and buttons. Most of the gestures are uh, prime only. So here you can change things with your dock if you need to. I just leave dock normally. I don't bother too much with it. I don't like having multiple docks. Uh, on my phone I do because I put quick call lists on them or quick messaging, but I don't really care right now. On uh, your look and feel, you can change your theme. I currently have a stock jelly bean, and you can change animation speed and scroll speeds. And here you can actually change your folders. So here, you see I have them on stack, but I also have the on um, platform view. Instead of having it in a circle like stock ICS, platform view actually looks a little bit nicer to me, I feel. And like I said before, gestures and buttons, you see most of the gestures are only with Prime, so you will have to purchase the Prime version of Nova Launcher to use them. And then of course you have your backup setting if you want to backup, restore, or whatever. It's nice to have if you're uh, consistently wiping and rooting your device. So you know, that's Nova Launcher if you guys are interested in a vanilla version of Android over your um, themed one. So until next time, it's Nodoro, and we'll see you later.